Hello dear friends, I'm Violeta from Crafting with View of You. Today we're going to work on our new mosaic crochet blanket, Enchanted Castle. Round 1. Let us start with the magic ring. Please grab yarn color A, put it around the hook like this and make a chain stitch and one more chain stitch without tightening the first loop, okay? Now you're going to bring the tail up, like to close this circle, and work eight single crochet stitches into this magic ring. One, two, three, four, five, six, and the two last stitches I'm going to work over the tail, seven and eight. To close this round, we're going to take the hook out of the loop, insert under the top two loops of the first single crochet, put the loop back onto the hook, pull it onto the back, tighten, and make a chain stitch. Now we can tighten the um, magic ring, and this is the first round. Round 2. Please join yarn color B, pull the yarn through the loop, tighten it and make a chain stitch. Now we're going to create a square shape out of this circle by adding corners to it, just like we did for small and medium squares. So we're going to work single crochet into the first um, single crochet of the previous round into the back loop, then chain 2 and a single crochet into the same stitch. Okay, so the first corner is done. Now we're going to work a single crochet stitch into the back loop of the next stitch. And the first corner and side is done. Let's do it again. Single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch. Chain 2. Single crochet into the same stitch. Then single crochet into the next stitch. And the second side is done. Let's do it again. Single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch, chain two, single crochet into the same stitch, single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch. Now we have three corners and sides, and we're going to do the last one. Single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch, chain two, single crochet into the same stitch, and then single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch. The fourth side is done. Let us uh, close this round, take the hook out of this loop, put it right under these two loops of the first single crochet at the beginning of this round, put the loop back onto the hook, pull it onto the back, tighten and make a chain stitch. And this is a round two. Round three. Please join yarn color A, tighten the loop, make a chain stitch, and let's do the corner increase, single crochet into the back loop of the first chain stitch of the corner increase in the previous round, then chain two, and then single crochet into the back loop of the second chain stitch. So let's do it. Single crochet into the back loop of the first chain stitch, then chain two, single crochet into the back loop of the second chain stitch. So this will be our regular corner increase. Now we're going to work a double crochet slanted one stitch to the left. So as we know in mosaic uh, crochet, all double crochet stitches are worked into the front loop of the corresponding stitch to rounds below. So for example, if this is your corresponding stitch, the stitch to rounds below will be this front loop of this stitch. Okay, now we're going to work a slanted double crochet, one stitch to the left. It means from the corresponding stitch, we're going to um, uh, shift one stitch to the left, and this will be the stitch into which we're going to work into, okay? The front loop of this stitch right here. So, yarn over, hook under this front loop, and make a double crochet. Now, as we know, we need to skip one stitch after each double crochet, 
So we make sure that we skip this corresponding stitch and work a single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch. Next stitch is a double crochet slanted one stitch to the right. So again, from the corresponding stitch, we are going to shift one stitch to the right and we actually get right into the same front loop of the stitch into which we work the last double crochet. So yarn over and make a double crochet into the same stitch, two rounds below. And then we're going to skip the corresponding stitch and start working the next corner increase, single crochet into the first chain stitch, then chain two, single crochet into the chain stitch, into the second chain stitch. Next stitch is a double crochet slanted one stitch to the left. So again, from corresponding stitch, one stitch to the left is this one. So we're going to make a double crochet, skip the corresponding stitch, make a single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch, and then double crochet slanted one stitch to the right. So it means into the same stitch with the previous double crochet. Okay, so the second side is done. We're skipping the corresponding stitch and start working the next corner increase, single crochet into the first uh, chain stitch, chain two, single crochet into the second chain stitch. Now double crochet slanted one stitch to the left, single crochet, double crochet slanted one stitch to the right, and the last corner increase, single crochet, chain two, single crochet, then double crochet, slanted one stitch to the left, single crochet, double crochet, slanted one stitch to the right. And this was the last stitch of this round. Now we're going to close this round, insert the hook right under these two loops of the first single crochet at the beginning of this round, put the loop back onto the hook and pull it onto the back, tighten really well, and make a chain stitch. And this is our third round. Fourth round, let's join yarn color A, tighten the loop, make a chain stitch. And in this round, we're going to work a double crochet corner. So a double crochet corner, if you've already worked on small and uh, medium squares, you should already know. If you haven't done that, let me explain it to you again. Instead of working single crochets into the chain stitches, we're going to skip the stitches and work double crochet into the chain stitches two rounds below, into this one and this one. Okay, so yarn over, double crochet into the first chain stitch, into the front loop of the first chain stitch, of the corner increase two rounds below, then chain two, then double crochet into the second chain stitch of the corner increase two rounds below, like this. Okay, next stitch will be a double crochet. So this double crochet will be worked into the same stitch with the previous one. So into this chain stitch, double crochet, Next stitch is a single crochet into the back loop of this slanted double crochet. Then double crochet into the front loop of the stitch two rounds below, right under this single crochet. So here is this front loop. And then a single crochet into the back loop of this next uh, slanted double crochet. And then the last stitch of this uh, pattern for this round is a double crochet, which will be worked into the first chain stitch of the corner increase two rounds below, right here. So the first side of this round is done. Let us do it again. We start with a double crochet corner increase, which is double crochet into the first chain stitch. So it will be into the same stitch into which you worked the last double crochet. So double crochet, then chain two, double crochet into the next chain stitch of the corner increase two rounds below. And one more double crochet, then single crochet, then double crochet right in between these two double crochets, two rounds below into this front loop. Then one more single crochet, and double crochet into the first chain stitch. 
So two sides are done. Let's do it again. Double crochet into the first chain stitch, chain two, double crochet into the second chain stitch, one more double crochet into the same stitch, then single crochet, then a double crochet, then single crochet, and the last double crochet into the first chain stitch two rounds below. Three sides are done, and let's do it last time. Double crochet into the first chain stitch, chain two, double crochet into the second chain stitch, one more double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, and the last stitch of this round is a double crochet, and it will be worked into the same chain stitch into which you worked the very first double crochet right here. And close this round by pulling this loop through the top of the double crochet onto the back. Tighten really well, make a chain stitch. And here is the round four. Round five. Let us join yarn color A. Tighten the loop and make a chain stitch. And in this round, we're going to work with locking stitches. So let me explain what it is. Because we worked a double crochet in the previous round and we skipped these chain stitches, they're kind of hanging loose here, you see, like creating this kind of flaps. And I'm going to try to avoid that. In, so in order to do that, I'm going to create these longer stitches. So these uh, single crochet stitches, they will be extended to catch those loops in the back. And let me show you how you will gonna do that. So we're going to start with a regular corner increase, single crochet into the first chain stitch, then chain two, single crochet into the second chain stitch. Now, if you don't wanna do locking stitches, it's fine. You can work a single crochet into the next stitch. Those who want to do locking stitches, this is the time to do that. You're going to insert the hook into the back loop of this double crochet and then into the back loop. So here are your two chain stitches, okay? You're going to insert the hook into the back loop of the second chain stitch, then yarn over and pull up a loop. And now you have these three loops on the hook and you're going to make a double crochet stitch using these three loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, so from here, this stitch looks as a single crochet. From here, it's a double crochet. Try to make it quite loose, okay? You don't want it to be too tight because you don't want it to squish your um, double crochets on this side, okay? Okay, I'll, I'm gonna show it to you several more times during this round so you can um, understand. <laughs> I hope it was clear from the first time. Okay, now the next stitch in this round is a double crochet slanted one stitch to the left. So we are going to work into this stitch, into the front loop of this stitch. So yarn over, hook into the front loop of this double crochet two rounds below and make a double crochet. Then skip the corresponding stitch and work three single crochet stitches into the next three stitches. One, two and three. Now double crochet, slanted one stitch to the right. So we're going to um, skip one stitch to the right from the corresponding stitch right here. So a double crochet, slanted one stitch to the right. And next stitch is going to be a single crochet into the... So we're skipping the corresponding stitch and working into this stitch. And in my case, I'm going to make a locking a single crochet stitch. So hook into the back loop of this double crochet. Then you see we have two chain stitches. I'm going to insert the hook into the back loop of the first chain stitch, yarn over and make a double crochet just like this. And the first side of this round is done. Let's do it again. Single crochet into the first chain stitch, two chains, single crochet into the second chain stitch, one more single crochet, which I'm going to make a locking stitch 
So you see how I'm pulling it? I'm pulling it to make it all the same level, okay? Don't make this look too tight. It needs to be quite loose. You don't want it to be, uh, this double crochet to be too short, okay? So yarn over and make this double but single crochet, okay? It's like very um, tricky. Okay, next double crochet, slanted one stitch to the left. Skip the corresponding stitch, three single crochets, one, two, and three. Double crochets, slanted one stitch to the right. And now the locking stitch to finish this side. So these are two sides of this round. Let's do it again. Single crochet into the first chain stitch, chain two, single crochet into the second chain stitch. One more single crochet, which is locking stitch for me. Then a double crochet, slanted one stitch to the left. Two single crochets, sorry, three single crochets, double crochet, slanted one stitch to the right. Single crochet, which is locking. And the last corner increase. Then a locking stitch. Oops, here is the second chain stitch into which I'm working into. Then double crochet slanted one stitch to the left, three single crochets, double crochet slanted one stitch to the right, oops, double crochet slanted one stitch to the right. And the last stitch is the locking stitch. So I'm going to insert the hook right into this double crochet into the back loop, then into the first chain stitch, into the back loop of the first chain stitch, pull up a loop and make this double crochet. Now I'm going to close this round by pulling this loop through the first single crochet onto the back like this. And the round number five is finished. Round six, please join yarn color B, make a chain stitch. And in this round, we're working double crochet corner increases as in the, um, in this round, two rounds below, double crochet into the first chain stitch, then, then chain two, double crochet into the second chain stitch. So work double crochet into the first chain stitch, then chain two, double crochet into the second chain stitch, and we're going to make one more double crochet into the same stitch. Then double crochet into the next stitch. Then single crochet into the back loop of this slanted double crochet. Then three double crochets into the uh, front loops of these three stitches right under these three single crochets. One, two, and three, then a single crochet, and then two double crochets, one and two. So this was the pattern for this round. Let's do it again. Double crochet into the first chain stitch, which will be into the same uh, stitch with the last double crochet, then chain two, then double crochet into the next chain stitch, one more double crochet into the same stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, then single crochet, three double crochets, single crochet, and two double crochets, one and two. Two sides are finished. Let us repeat it again. Uh, double crochet, double crochet into the first chain stitch, chain two, double crochet into the second chain stitch, double crochet into the same stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, single crochet, three double crochets, three double crochets,
three double crochets single crochet two double crochets double crochet into the same stitch with the last one chain two double crochet into the next chain stitch double crochet into the same stitch double crochet into the next stitch single crochet three double crochets one two and three single crochet and two last double crochets of this round one and two the last double crochet is made with, into the same stitch with the first one now we're going to close this round pull it onto the back and make a chain stitch around six round seven is worked with yarn color a and we will start with a regular corner increase we are going to do um, locking stitches in the corners and slanted double crochets as we did in the rounds in the previous rounds two rounds and four rounds below okay so we're going to start single crochet into the first chain stitch chain two single crochet into the second chain stitch second um, one more single crochet which you can do as a locking single crochet one more single crochet then double crochet slanted one stitch to the left so from the corresponding stitch we're going to skip the corresponding stitch five single crochets one two three four and five then double crochet slanted one stitch to the right skip the corresponding stitch work single crochet one more single crochet which can be a locking stitch and this is the pattern for this round let's work it again single crochet into the first chain stitch chain two single crochet into the second chain stitch then locking stitch one more single crochet stitch double crochet slanted one stitch to the left five single crochets double crochet slanted one stitch to the right single crochet locking stitch and this is the, the second uh, side of this round round and round so single crochet chain two single crochet locking crochet <laughs> a single crochet then double crochet slanted one stitch to the left five single crochets double crochet slanted one stitch to the right single crochet locking stitch and the last corner increase single crochet into the first chain stitch chain two single crochet into the second chain stitch locking stitch single crochet slanted double crochet one stitch to the left five single crochets double crochet slanted one stitch to the right single crochet and the last single crochet will be the locking stitch so i'm going to grab the first chain stitch of the corner and crystal rounds below and make this locking stitch and close this round by pulling the loop onto the back this is round seven round eight and in this round we are going to work with two colors of yarn color b and color c so we're going to start with joining yarn color c pull it through the loop 
tighten the loop and make a chain stitch. And the first stitches in this round are the double crochet corner increase. So we're going to work on it. Double crochet into the first chain stitch, chain two, double crochet into the second chain stitch. Then we're going to make three more double crochets. So the first one will be worked into the same chain stitch and two next double crochets into the in, in, into two next stitches. And we're going to join the next yarn while, while we will be working the last loop of the stitch. So yarn over, pull through two loops. And now we're going to grab yarn color B and pull through these two loops. Okay. Now we are going to work over this yarn in the next round when we will be working single crochets. So I'm trying to keep this yarn not too tight, okay, not too loose, but not too tight, just like this. And I'm going to make a single crochet, making sure that I'm working around this yarn. Okay, tighten a little bit. So this yarn is not too tight, it goes around this corner like this. Perfect. Now we're going to make five double crochet stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. And one more stitch with this yarn, a single crochet, making sure you're working around this yarn. And now grab yarn color C and pull it through. Now we joined yarn color C and we will continue working around this corner with yarn color C. Make sure that this yarn in the back is not hanging too tight, okay, because you are going to work over it when you will be working next um, in the next round, the single crochets, you're going to pick it up and work over it, okay. So tighten a little bit, make sure that the yarn is hanging not too tight, not too loose and make three double crochet stitches. One, two, and three. And this side is done. Now let us work the next side, starting with the corner increase, double crochet, chain two, double crochet into the next chain stitch, then three double crochets, one, two, and three, and without finishing this double crochet, we're going to grab yarn color B and pull it through these two last loops. Okay, now make sure this yarn is long enough to go around this corner without tight, uh, being too tight. And make a single crochet stitch into the back loop of this double crochet. Tighten this a little bit and make five double crochets. One two, three, four, and five. And now we're going to make a single crochet. Make sure this yarn is laying right here so you can work over it. Yarn over, pull up this loop and now yarn, uh, yarn over made with yarn color C and pull it through this loop so you join yarn color C. Make sure it's not too tight and make three double crochet stitches. One, two, and three. And this is the second side. This is how it looks in the back. We're going to catch all this yarn in the next round. So next corner increase, double crochet, chain two, double crochet into the next chain, three double crochets, one, two and three pick up yarn color b pull it through these two loops and make a single crochet making sure this yarn is long enough to go around this corner okay you don't want it too tight and work five double crochet stitches one two three four and five and then make sure this yarn is is right here so you can work over it and join yarn color c through the last 
loop of the single crochet stitch. Yarn is not too tight. Three double crochet stitches. One, two, and three. And let's finish this round. Double crochet into the same chain stitch, chain two, double crochet into the next chain stitch, double crochet into the same stitch, two more double crochets, one and two. Now pick up yarn color B, pull it through these last two loops of the last double crochet. It's long enough to go around this corner. Single crochet, make sure you work around this yarn color um, C and make five double crochet stitches. One, two, three, oops, four, and five. And now the last single crochet with this yarn, join yarn color uh, C. And make three double crochet stitches, the last three stitches of this round. The last double crochet is worked into the same stitch with the first double crochet. Pull it through the top of the double crochet onto the back, tighten and make a chain stitch. And this is our round eight. So you can see the color change was made in single crochet stitches right here. It will be covered by the double crochet stitches that will be made into in the next round and all this yarn will be picked up and worked over when we will be working single crochets using yarn color a okay round nine please join yarn color a tighten the loop, make a chain stitch. And in this round, we're going to work over these tails and yarns hanging in the back. So while we're making the first single crochet, I'm going to catch the tail of this yarn color seed that we joined and also this um, extra yarn hanging here, okay? So single crochet into the first chain stitch, working over this tail and over this yarn color B, then chain two, single crochet into the next chain stitch, again working around these two yarns. Here I'm going to make a locking stitch, I'm not forgetting about locking stitch, and I'm going to work over these yarns, I want to them to stay inside, okay, I want to, in, to, to, to enclose them. So I'm making a locking stitch over these two yarns there. And then two more single crochet stitches. Again, I'm catching these yarns inside the single crochets. And now I'm going to make a double crochet slanted one stitch to the left. So from the corresponding stitch, one stitch to the left. And now seven single crochet stitches and I will try to catch all this yarn into these stitches. Not into the first one, the first single crochet stitch. I'm, I'm working into the back loop of this single crochet. And while I'm working on top of these double crochets, I'm going to catch this yarn hanging in the back. So making these single crochets over the yarn in the back. Now this single crochet I'm working only through the back loop. And now double crochet slanted one stitch to the right, so it's right here. And three more single crochets. And again, I'm going to catch this yarn, a yarn color B hanging in the back. And I'm working a locking stitch right here over, I'm going over this uh, yarn color B because I want it to be enclosed right under the locking stitch. So the first side of this round is done and this is what we get in the back. All this yarn was caught right into the single crochet stitches. 
so it looks quite neat okay so let's continue next uh, corner increase we don't forget to work around yarn color b so single crochet chain two single crochet into the next stitch now i'm going to work a locking stitch into the back loop of the chain stitch like this then two more single crochets don't forget to work around yarn collar b then double crochet slanted one stitch to the left then single crochet into this single crochet right here then five single crochets working around yarn color c four and five the last single crochet working just through the back loop of this single crochet now double crochet slanted one stitch to the right and three more single crochets catching the yarn collar b right into your single crochets one two and the third one will be the locking stitch like this and the second side is done i really really like it because it looks really nice and cute on this side and very very neat in the back so let's do it again corner increase single crochet chain two single crochet and then i'm going to do the locking stitch then two more single crochets don't forget to catch yarn b in the back then a double crochet slanted one stitch to the left single crochet single crochet catching yarn color c in the back one two three four and five one more single crochet into the back loop of the single crochet then double crochet slanted one stitch to the right and then three more single crochets one two the third one is the locking stitch where are you it's here third side is done and let's, let's finish this around single crochet chain two single crochet three more single crochets you can do just single crochets if you don't like locking stitches i really like to catch this of flaps in the back in the corners so locking stitch two more single crochets one and two then double crochet slanted one stitch to the left and seven single crochets one two three four five six and seven double crochet slanted one stitch to the right this yarn and three single crochets one two and the last one is the locking stitch so i'm going to enclose all this yarn right under this locking stitch here is this chain oops lost it yeah another pull up a loop make this like double crochet stitch now close the round by pulling this loop through the first single crochet tighten and make a chain stitch and ta-da! This is what we have in the back. This is how it looks. This yarn I'm going to continue weaving it a little bit and then cut. And the rest is, look how, how nice and pretty this is. I know it's a little bit complicated, tapestry, uh, crochet plus locking stitches. Maybe you need to practice a little bit, but I assure you the result will be fabulous. So this was round number nine. Round 10, 
And in this round, we're going to work only with yarn color C. So you can cut off yarn color B and we're going to work over it when we will be working uh, single crochets in the next round. And again, we're going to do double crochet corner. So yarn over, double crochet into the first chain stitch, two rounds below, then chain two, double crochet into the second chain stitch, then four double crochets, the first one into the same stitch, then three more double crochets, one, two, and three, then single crochet, seven double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and then single crochet, and four double crochet stitches. One, two, three, and four. And this is the round number 10. And let's do it once again together. Double crochet into the first chain stitch, chain two, double crochet into the second chain stitch, now four double crochets with the first one into the same stitch and then three double crochets into the next three stitches one two three and then single crochet seven double crochet stitches one two three four five six and seven single crochet and four double crochets and the round uh sorry the second side of this round is done and let us continue working around this round double crochet into the same chain stitch chain two double crochet into the next chain stitch double crochet into the same stitch and then three more double crochets one two and three single crochet seven double crochets one two three four five six and seven then single crochet and four double crochets to finish this side three and four and the last corner increase double crochet chain two uh, double crochet four double crochets one two three four single crochet seven double crochets single crochet and four double crochets the last stitches of this round the last stitch is made into the same chain stitch with the very first double crochet of this round. Close the round by pulling this loop onto the back, tighten, make a chain stitch, and the round 10 is finished. <laughs>